In this video, we're going to go over a tip in regards to sales, and that's whenever we're giving a prospect, a customer, an offer, it's best practice to state the restriction of that offer before the offer itself. So another way to put that is stating the restriction before the offer has better results than stating the restriction after the offer. That's because stating the restriction before the offer frames the offer as a reward, not a restriction. Okay, so an example I want us to pay attention to and implement is this first one. So it might say if you're, let's say, doing door-to-door -door sales or maybe you're on the phone uh, trying to work out uh, with a prospect, you know, to convert them to a customer and schedule an appointment, uh, maybe we give them an offer saying get window cleaning done today and get free uh, window screen cleaning if we can get this done today. That's better received from that consumer and more likely to make them a customer and go through with it, hire us, than if we said the opposite. If we said get other services you know free get window screen cleaning free when you get window cleaning done today that's not going to be received as well from that consumer as if we had stated you know get get window cleaning done today and get free window screen cleaning um and another thing to point out uh when looking at these other examples is we'd far prefer to add more value than discount our services. And the other two are more discount oriented than adding more value, like adding free uh, window screen cleaning. So a couple other things that we might offer a consumer are, you know, spend X and get Y dollars off. That's gonna be better received than saying get Y dollars off when you spend X. Yes, I get it. Um, uh, you know, so semantically it's, it's, it's the same thing, but grammatically they're opposites and they're gonna be received differently from that consumer um, if we phrase them accordingly, right? Another example is select services, get X dollars off. Say that instead of get X dollars off select services. It's going to be received differently from that consumer and makes them more or less likely to end up hiring us and become a customer. So those are some best practices or really a statement about a best practice about when we're conducting or providing an offer, we should state the restriction of that offer before the offer itself.